and welcome to the first installment of LoveHorsepower.com. Today we'll be installing these Kirkasaurus motor mount inserts. Kirkasaurus, kind of weird name, not really sure what it means, but they're motor mount inserts, not motor mount replacements. On the MR2 there are four motor mounts, front, rear, left, and right. We should be able to just pull off the front and rear motor mounts, stick these in place, and be good to go. Now I'm going to take a jack and put it under the oil pan to make sure the engine doesn't follow me, because that would seriously suck. So what do you say we get this car up on jack stands, get those motor mounts installed? Okay, let's get started. Here we're removing the front motor mount. Start off by removing the large 17mm through bolt. Then remove the four 14mm bolts surrounding the bracket. Okay, we got our motor mount out. We took the through bolt out first, then these four bolts, which hold the motor mount onto the body in these four holes. Next up, we'll take the Kirkasaurus motor mount insert, jam it in here. Let's get it done. Now here's a close-up of that front motor mount. Now as you can see, it's definitely shot. The rubber's cracked, there's particles of rubber in there. We need those motor mounts installed. Okay, we got our Kirkasaurus motor mount inserts. Got our motor mount out for the front. Let's stick them in. They got these arrows here, right here, to match up with the arrow on the motor mount. Just take it, and stick it on in there. Let's do it on the other side. Find out where that arrow is. Stick it in. You're good to go. Here's the completed front motor mount with the insert in place. Then reinstall the motor mount with the through bolt and the four 14 millimeter bolts. And look at that, you're done with that front motor mount. Now it's onto the rear motor mount, which also has a 17 millimeter through bolt and three 14 millimeter long bolts to go through the cross member and into the motor mount. Here at lovehorsepower.com, we had to use a special tool to get that through bolt out because the exhaust was in the way. So we used a universal joint and a couple of extensions. We then used a half inch ratchet to remove that through bolt. Next up was removing the three 14 millimeter long bolts that go through the cross member into the rear motor mount. Then just pull that mount out and you're ready to install the inserts. Okay, we got our rear motor mount removed by removing the three lower bolts and that nasty through bolt using a universal joint and a couple of extensions. So let's install those motor mount inserts. Just as with the front, you line up those arrows, slap it in place. Do the same on the other side, check out where that arrow is, line it up, line it up right, and slap it in place, and you're good to go. Just as with the front motor mount, just slap on the Kirkasaurus motor mount inserts and you're ready to put it back in and the rear motor mounts installed. We're ready to test this thing out. Well, that wasn't so bad. In fact, overall, I would say it was pretty easy, except for the through bolt on the rear motor mount, and once we figured out the right tools to use, it was straightforward. So what do you say we take this bad boy out for a ride and see what a difference those motor mount inserts make? Let's go build some boost. Well, now that we got those motor mount inserts installed, I can definitely feel a lot more vibration from the engine, which I don't mind one bit. And in fact, the chatter from our Spec Stage 3 clutch that we got installed in this MR2 is actually slightly reduced, which I really appreciate. Now let's try this bad boy under some boost. Let's go. Alright, we definitely love boost. That was good. It's definitely more connected feel with the engine, which I really like. We best try a little more boost again. What do you say? Let's rock. Yeah. Woo! So I hope you enjoyed the first installment of lovehorsepower.com. I know I did.